Welcome to the next module, 3D Art. This is where I have I spend a lot of my time, or I did, I'm not doing much of this anymore. I've made a couple of little small pieces for the demonstration here, for the instructions, but uh, I just don't have the capability physically to do this anymore because a lot of this stuff is very large and can be heavy. Uh, we'll show you some samples here. I'll I've got one with me and then I'll show you some more at the end of the program or at the end of this uh, video. And uh, I think what we should do right now is get into what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is some of the press board for the backing and foam, either white or blue or pink, like I told you before. Uh, and some of the things that we're going to look at. The one thing that you're really going to need a lot of is wood filler. Looks like this. So keep that in mind. And this comes in, what we're going to do, this comes in one thickness, but we can, we dilute this down and I'll show you a couple of those. You're going to need a spray bottle with acetone. You're going to need the gallery glass, the black vinyl, liquid vinyl as I call it. You're going to need a couple of different brushes, like these two. You're going to need clamps, like these. A box cutter. A steel rule. I would, I, I would highly recommend you use a steel rule rather than a plastic one or anything like that. You're going to need uh, some little pieces of the press board like this. These are like one inch square. You'll see why. And you're going to need the foam. Here is the blue foam, like that. And I guess that's about it. I'm going to do a couple of little demonstrations to give you some hints and some, uh, some, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not with it today, I'll tell you. And you're also going to need uh, the board, like I said, and the clamps, and a drill. I'm not going to show you the drill, a drill and a bit, okay? Other than that, that's about it. So let me get everything straightened out here, and we'll get ready to go. And uh, Oh yeah, forgot. Here's one piece that I did. It's uh, beat up. I don't even know why I keep it around. I just happened to find it. This was done like four or five years ago. It's a smaller piece for a much larger, and this is a little, uh, what do you want to call it, a sample, I guess, of the sign that I made for Harley-Davidson. You can see it here, and I'll show this a little bit closer. You can see that it's 3D. And I'll show you some close-ups of it here in a minute, okay? And at the end of the end of this instructional video, I'll also show you uh, some pieces that I have. Okay, let's start with the piece here. I've already glued a piece of wood to the back of it. This is not the particle board. This is a piece of scrap that I had from a larger thing I did. So I'm going to use that instead. But this is what you want to use. Okay, the first thing you want to do is cut out the wood piece before you cut out the before you cut out the uh, the foam, okay? And you'll cut out the foam using this, using a box cutter. That will come in handy here in a little bit. First thing we want to do, once you get the, the uh, wood cut to the size that you want, you then lay that over the foam and cut it and trace around the edge and then cut the foam, okay? So that way you get them exactly the same size or very close to the same size. Then, there's no hole in here. The first thing you want to do after that is drill the hole before you put anything else on it. Drill the hole wherever you want. Sometimes two, sometimes two, sometimes just the one in the middle. Okay? Okay, now, once you have the glue on there, you want to take these little pieces, set one down there. This is where the clamps come in, and you want to put at least four of them, one on each corner. Now, why do you use this? To protect the foam from the clamp, otherwise you'll get indentation to run on, your, on the clamp, okay? Now, the next thing after that that you want to do is you want to measure out the border for your frame that's going to be around here, as you'll see here in a minute. And then, once you've got that done, if you're going to do a 3D art like I've got over here, you want to draw your art, your layout on here. So I'm just going to do a real quick one here. It's not going to make much difference. Start there, come around like this, go like that, come here, go like that.
there. There. And we'll put one over here. Like that. Okay? And maybe a little one down here. Now, uh, what I was going to say about drilling the hole is you want to make sure that you don't get it too far down into here because what will happen is the hole will come through over here. So you want to make it someplace, or when you lay this out, you want to lay it out so that you have uh, a lot of a lot of the uh, plastic wood on here. Okay, once that's done, we're going to set that aside for a time being. I want to show you the wood filler here. You want the you want to take it and put water into it and make it the consistency of as you can see here the consistency of a very thick pudding, like that. Okay, can you see that? All right, now that's how it, that's how you want to make it when it's when it's done. When brush wipe that off a little bit in the water. So it doesn't dry, we'll clean it off, clean off the brush. That's one. This you make in pieces. What you're going to have to do though is find something else until you get a bunch of these. I probably got 30 or 40 of these, these things, I throw them away eventually. And then the way it actually comes when you first buy it is like this. It's very, very thick. Okay? It's very thick. What you want to do is take like half of whatever is in one of these and put it into something else so that you can so that you can stir it up, and water it down a little bit. You have to be very careful when you water it down because you can get it too thin and then it's then it's really not much use. There are times when I use it at this at this thickness, but not very often. I'll put a little bit of water into it just so that it's more pliable and it's easier to work with. So anyway, once we have that done, then we take the brush, one of these brushes like this, let me get this stuff cleared out of the way. You want the wider of the two brushes. Then we're going to start, let me get this situation so we can see what's going on here. Get you a big dab of it like that. Start right here at the edge put it down and then what you do is kind of push it in to the line like that and you just keep going across it doesn't have to be exact because you you know it'll, it'll get just a little bit uh, over the lines in places that's okay unless you're very unless you want it very very thin then you'd probably have to mask it off but this once you get practiced at this it's pretty easy to do just a matter of getting it pushed into the into the lines. And then once you get down to the end, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, just to give you an idea of how it's done. Like that. Okay, then what you want to do, once you get all the way around on this side, you don't want to do the sides yet, then you want to start with this, but you always start in the middle. That way you don't get your hands in it. Doing the same thing again. Now what you're going to want to do when you get done with this, you're going to have to put two coats on this because it, it will, it, it's very thin and it can be very fragile when it's done. Okay? So once it dries the first time, then you want to go back in and put it all back on there again. The same way. Get it nice and smooth around there. You can use the turntable on this, like I told you before. I showed you the turntable. You can do it that way as well. And if you want, you can always go back in here and put a little bit more on the, do it like that. And like that. And you don't have to worry about it. I don't know if you can see it, but right over here I got a little bit on there. It's no big deal. Just leave it there. You'll, you'll get rid of that later. And you just keep going around until you get the whole thing done. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because we've got more things to do.
it's just a matter of pushing it over to the side and you can see that the, this texture or the thickness of this uh, plastic wood is just about where you want it to be now what you want to do when you're going to thin it down is you put a little bit of water in it just a little a couple of tablespoons and then uh, stir it in I use a fork just a big dinner fork to stir it in and then check it to see if it is if it needs a little bit more then you can go ahead and throw a little bit more into it and you just keep doing that with water until you get it to about where you want it I would I would suggest you put the water in a bottle rather than trying to put it under the faucet because the faucet can give you way too much Anyway, that's what it looks like. I got my finger in it. <laughs> Over at the side. So that's what it's going to look like when it's done. I mean, you go around the whole thing and you can see right here, the little piece that I put in there, you can wipe it off like that or just let it dry and then it'll break off by itself. Like I say, once you get it all done, then you want to go back in and put another one on it. Okay? I'll set that aside, clean the brush. Set that aside, close this up. From time to time, you're gonna probably have to add a little bit of water to it if you're doing a large project because it, it kind of starts to dry out and get a little film on it. Okay, here's one that's finished that I did. And we're going to take this one and we're gonna spray this with the acetone. You can see how thick it is, it's very thick. And done along the sides, back is there. I haven't drilled holes in it. But I did put a little mark here where the hole is going to be, and then you drill the hole right there. So before we get into this one, we're going to I'm going to show you a little demonstration here. I've got two pieces of foam here, one of the one of the uh, blue and a piece of the white. Now this is, I want to show you this because this is very important, so that you understand the difference between the two. All right, here is the acetone. Get it started. No, that's way too much. Okay, now I've got a spray on it. I'm going to spray this, these two, with just two squirts side by side, and I want you to see the difference in how the acetone melts the foam. Whoop. It's kind of windy out here, so bear with me. One, two. We'll sit here and watch it. It takes a little bit of time for this stuff to work, so you have to be kind of understand what's going on here. that you can sit here and watch it actually work what it's doing and you know I don't know if you can actually see it that well no you can't so I'm going to come I'm going to zoom in on this move this around to where you can see it a little bit better uh -oh. we'll do it another couple of squirts you have to let this stuff sit for a while We'll do one there, one there, one there, like that, okay? Now, the thing that you have to remember is that, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cold today. Notice how it's melting right in here, how, how the two of them are going differently. <coughs> this one has got, hasn't done that much. This one is just eat it, eating away at it really crazy-like. Bring it up here and you can see it a little bit better. See how it's eating it away? And yet this one has hardly done anything at all. And you can see from the side. So this is why I prefer to use the, uh, the blue foam rather than the white. If you're going to use white, you've got to be very careful applying the, applying the, you can see how it's really starting to get down in there now. And it, you can see that it's kind of pliable and sticky and gooey. Whoop, there you go. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of pliable and sticky and gooey. How it comes off, it'll stick to your fingers like that. 
and this this is very difficult to use the white so be careful when you're using the white if you can't find the blue then you'll have to use the white I would suggest that you use uh, the two inch rather than the one inch now there's one other thing too in buying foam the insulation foam that you can buy at, at the stores has got this silver on it and you can't peel that off so if you're going to use this this has to be the bottom part that, that glues to the uh, glues to the wood okay okay there was a glitch in the uh, footage that I shot earlier uh, this is about a week later <laughs> And I don't know what happened when I when I went to uh, when I downloaded the video onto the computer, it just didn't show up right. So I'm going to reshoot all of this. Now, if you remember, we had we had done the uh, this one, and I finished it up, so it's completely done now. And what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and spray it with the acetone and get it. And get it uh, done so let's go ahead and start we'll spray it let it work now you'll notice too that this one I've it's very heavy as well it's uh, it's you can see that it's really burning up I wanted to make sure that I got it got it all done um, the thing is that um, you have to be careful, like I said before, you have to be careful with this with this stuff because it can uh, burn up burn it up really bad in certain places. I'm going to put a little bit more right there and a little more right there and right there. Ah, too much. I think that'll probably do it. Ah, a little bit there. Now there's no, really no way to stop it. You can blow on it like this to help it evaporate. And then it will, it, it will stop a little bit more. Now you can see in here that it's blowing way down in, in some places. You can also tell, I don't know if you can see them on there, but we'll get in a little bit closer. There are some cracks in the plastic wood here. Now those you don't have to worry too much about. That's going to happen more often than not, but the paint and the uh, liquid vinyl will take care of that. Okay, now let's go in and I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. I'm just going to do a small portion of it. Come on, liquid vinyl. Ah. And we'll spray some, we'll squirt some on there. Whoa. There we go. See if that's enough. And then we go in and just spread it around. You don't have to worry about getting it on the plastic wood because it's going to be painted over anyway. And you want to make sure you get it all covered very well. It's better to put too much on than not enough, as you're going to see here in a minute. You want to make sure you get up underneath all the spots here. You can see where the light blue is. Because if you don't, the paint when you paint it, oh, I've got room for a lot more here. I put a little bit too much on. And the problem, the problem with uh, doing the, the foam is that it's hard to tell when, the, especially when the, uh, on the light blue, when the uh, liquid vinyl has got everything covered. That should pretty well do it, I think. And the reason why I'm not going to do it the whole way is because it, we've got something else to show you here. The one that I had done before 
is now here. And wash the brush off. The one that I had done before is now dry. Where's my rag? I put it someplace. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. And I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so that you can see what's what's happened here. I'll make sure I don't mess it up. There we go. And what you're going to see are places you can see some of the light blue. This is dry and makes it very easy to see. And that's you have to go back in and redo those. There's a lot of there's a lot of little spaces on here, little spots where the the uh, where it didn't quite get on there. So we, what we have to do is go back in, redo those, and go from there. So I'm not even I'm not going to mess with it right now, but I wanted you to see these so that you understand what's happening. And you have to go back in and, and, and cover those all up. If you don't, the paint will not keep the, the, uh, the clear coat from burning through it, and it'll just eat up more of, the, more of the thing, and it'll pretty much ruin the piece. Now, as we were talking about the little cracks, see the cracks here? That's not a problem, because, like I say, um, you can either use paint or you can use um, liquid vinyl to cover those cracks. Either one will work. And uh, then you won't see them anymore. It'll also strengthen a little bit. Now there's a lot of cracks on this one. This one over here has got some cracks. There's a couple there. There's another one down in here, but you can't really see it too well. It's right in here. Right in there. And that's about it. There's another one over here. Right there. Anyway, that's the... Uh, then all you do is just paint these. You know, you can paint them any color you want. Now when you're in here, when you're in here, you're going to have to put a lot of paint, sometimes two, three coats, or put it on very, very heavy, but you're still going to have to touch it up one way or the other, okay? Okay, I promised you that I was going to show you how to do a canvas wrap, sort of like, uh, on the 3D stuff, and I've used, I'm going to use this one that we did before, remember this. Where'd it go? Here it is. So what we, what, what happens here? is that what I've used, and I haven't even finished it, but I wanted to leave it like this so you could actually see it. There are, there's wood on here. This is, this is one by one wood, or two by two, I forget. I think it's two by two, or whatever it is. Anyway, you don't have to worry too much about having gaps in here like this, because the gaps are gonna be filled in with plastic wood. You can drill your holes in here before you do anything else, or you can just put your wire in here. However you wanna do it, it doesn't much matter. And then what we go from there is, when you put the plastic wood on, you wanna do the back as well. You wanna do, come around here to the front. You see there's some little nails in here. Let me move that a little bit. See the little nails here? You, you, what, I, what I do is one piece at a time, I'll put some glue on the wood, I'll nail it down with the little brads, do each one of them, and then go from there. I'll, once we get it done, then you can go ahead and, and put uh, the uh, plastic wood just over the nails. Just put a little bit around it so it makes a frame. And the frame becomes an integral part of the painting so you don't have to worry about having anything framed or do anything more to it. This is going to get pitched. <laughs> I've decided I'm not going to try to try to salvage it. And then we, and then it's just a matter of painting it whatever color you want, gold, black, silver, whatever. Okay? Copper, <laughs> anything. So that takes care of that. That's how you do the uh, the uh, gallery wraps. You can also use a 1 by 2 which is half this width and goes in or you can do it the other way too and put it up like that and still have two by one the one by two is cheaper than the two by two but I go to like Home Depot and Lowe's and that and I always find scraps that people have left that they don't want and and that that's what I use so I don't really have to pay much for it um, it's this wood here was scrap it was in five or six little pieces anyway that takes care of that 
So I guess that's it for the 3D. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop it. We're going to go into uh, more of the, uh, the uh, coasters, and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.